Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is taking this 10 base number, 265, and converting it to a binary number, which is, you know, two base numbering system. So if you would, pause the video and see if you can try this one on your own. All right, finding the, uh, the binary number is a little more difficult. To convert it from a 10 base numbering system, you know, or sorry, from a, from binary to a decimal, 10 base numbering system, is a piece of cake. This, on the other hand, can be a little bit more difficult. Because what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be dividing it. That's the strategy. So you keep on dividing it by two until you break it down to zero. Now, what you're gonna be focusing on is the remainders. So you see how many times does two go into this? Well, that many times evenly with one remainder. Then you keep on breaking it down. Two goes into 100, well, 13, six times with one remainder. So this is 12. How many times does two go into 12? Six. And a zero remainder. And then you see two. Two goes into six three times. Two goes into six three times. How many times does two go into three? Well, how many times does two go into three? Once, right? With one remainder. So this is 13. How many times does two go into 13? Yes, six times. So that's a remainder of one. How many times does two go into 16? Yeah. Eight times with a zero remainder. How many times does two go into eight? Four times. Zero remainder. How many times does two go into four? Twice, right? How many times does two go into two? Once, zero remainder. How many times does two go into one? Zero, and that's where you stop with the remainder of one. And now you wanna go into reverse order. So your first number is gonna be, you know, one, and then zero, 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 right? I'm just taking this and I'm going in reverse order. So one, zero, see that? Zero, zero, another zero, that's four. One, see that? A one here, so I'm gonna put a one here. Zero, zero, one. And that's how you take 65 and convert it to a binary number. And that's it.